Hey, I'm Rita Cook. And I'm Terry Murphy. And we are ECP TV. Happy to see you this week. I know. Mr. It's, Murphy. Yeah. It's been a while. <laughs> it has. It was last week. Okay. Yeah. So this week we don't have a lot to talk about, apparently, but you actually said that you noticed some things going on in Ellis County that you didn't know about, and you actually live here. Yeah. What was the standout on those things that you found? Uh, the, what I just talked to you about? Well, there's a blue bonnet festival. Is that happened already? It's already happened. Blue bonnet season. All right. Didn't you see all the blue bonnets? Yeah, I did. And I noticed. Did you see them now? Well, not really. Okay, so I guess it's, it's the festival. All right, let's, let's take a look. <laughs> I love this guy. The Crepe, Crepe Myrtle Festival. That's, yeah, that's a big one in Waxahachie. And it's a driving trail, so I guess you just drive through it. Yeah, yeah. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, the Gingerbread Home Tour. That's you know cool. about that? I do, and it's a really good... Have you been through Waxahachie and looked at the older homes there on Main Street? Yeah, yeah. They're awesome, and they open up to the public in the fall, I believe. So that's really fun to have to take the... So you actually get to go in? Mm -hmm. oh, yeah, it's really cool. Yeah, they're beautiful. And then Scarborough Fair, I think you mentioned, which is going on now, I recommend it only yeah. once a year because mm -hmm. I already went, and um, I dressed up like a, a fairy, and I bought a little fairy ears. What would you dress up as? Uh... A uh, prince. Prince. <laughs> we'll go with that. HRH, one. His Royal Highness. That's his pronoun. <laughs> All right. So, really quick, there's a couple of things on the cover of the paper, other than the fact that we made the cover. Yeah. That's cool. awesome. Yeah. And we're going to be starting a podcast. Actually, after we do this, we're going to do our first, we're going to have our first podcast, which is yeah. what is the name of it going to be? In Lies the Truth. Okay. So, you're the producer. So, it's going to be fun. Um, so, in the cover, we had the former Waxahachie resident d died in the line of duty. He was an explorer, had asked um, Chief, or not Chief, Sheriff Norman what that meant. So it's like explorers are, are kids, I guess, boys and girls, who actually practice to be or learn more about being police officers. So he was an explorer in Waxahachie, but he died in the line of fire for a, a warrant yeah. that was really senseless. Um, nice looking guy. He left behind um, a wife and two sons. And then there was a man that our producer was just telling us that was charged with tampering with the government record. Do you remember what he said about that? Uh, I'll let him talk about that. I think it was the uh, times of response for the, uh, for the emergency vehicles. So he, um, I guess they have, uh, is it AMR? Is that the, he started employment with AMR in December 2015 and resigned in September, October 2022. So they took his computer and found that he was cheating. Forensics. Cheating forensic audit. So that was there was not really that much going on in Ellis County last week. If you guys have anything to tell us about, let us know. We're always ready. There was a dude that called me up, Hank, Mister. I'm not calling Hank. You don't know his last name on here, but he was upset about his property tax had gone up, and he said he lives in a flood zone. And so um, I just want to remind everybody that you have to go and protest if you have a discrepancy with your taxes. Yeah. So and you, you should just protest. <laughs> right, right. Because he was like, well, I have pictures of the floods and everything. Well, that's possible. And the, they went up. And I think the building here went up like $20,000 a year or something, property tax. Is that, uh, yeah, you know what? That's not true. I'm, I'm actually, that's your son. I am not mass media and I'm leaking out information. <laughs> it's not even accurate. But it did go up. How Sounds much did good. go up? I don't know too much. I'm going to protest. <laughs> you didn't pay your taxes yet? No. Okay. I'm supposed to. Yeah, apparently. <laughs> okay, so on, on the back page is my down the rabbit hole column when we were just talking a lot about the border. So um, I did want to make a note that I did find out that Governor Abbott is a member or part of the World Economic Forum. And if you have been following us at all, then you know that that is a big no-no because they're sort of a globalist. <clears throat> so now we kind of know why the border's been flung right open. <laughs> so, um, a lot of other reasons. <clears throat> what are the other reasons? <clears throat> well, I think a lot of it is just to uh, take our attention off of them. Okay, that's very likely. There's because there's so many things going on, right? <laughs> yeah, they don't want us to look. Didn't you? Did you not tell me before the show about something that you saw on YouTube? Yeah, um, uh, it was a video on YouTube, and it was uh, uh, a fella who's from, obviously, had come across the border, did, supposedly didn't speak English, didn't 
didn't have a driver's license, but he did, and he did speak English, and he did have a driver's license, but he had said when he got arrested that we were stupid. Americans, and Americans are stupid, and um, they're, there's a militia going to come and take over, and you know who knows if what he said is true, but I kind of believe that they really believe that, and they are planning to kind of take over a little bit. They're, they're going to try better, completely. I think yeah, it's I don't think they're going to be able to do it completely, but they're going to try. Well, the way that they're busting them. So, Title Forty Two ended last weekend. If you don't follow my TikTok, follow it. It's at Rita the Road Warrior, and um, there's all kinds of things going on. Abbott sent the Texas National Guard and the Texas State Police, although I don't really know who the Texas State Police are, but that was one of the things <clears throat> down there to stop them. And apparently someone said that they did put barbed wire up yeah. after tons and tons of people came in. And so now they're just, you know, heading down toward Arizona, New Mexico, and California, where they actually arrested a couple of people that were on the FBI terrorist list. One yeah. was from Afghanistan. So the cartel has already said it on my TikTok. People have said, and we've talked about this, that we're idiots and that they're coming over and they're taking their country back. And like I said on my TikTok, we weren't here during the Alamo. I didn't have anything to do with that, and neither did you. So why are you taking your country back? I don't get it. It's it's moronic. Yeah. I mean, what do you think about all this? Well, you know, I don't know what we can do about it. But our hands are pretty much tied. <laughs> Ask our producer. He's got he's got some ideas by the camera there. <laughs> our hands are not tied. Well, That's not true. We can vote, but okay. they put up barbed wire, and then they just go to another area, they come to there, and if they caught a couple terrorists coming through that are on the watch list, how how many got through that were gotaways? And the fact that they're busing them up to the sanctuary cities, and a lot of people are like, "Well, you're sending you're sending all your all the people up to these cities with minority mayors." Well, I'm not right. I'm not prejudiced, and neither are you. No, and I think. We're, but you know what? The problem is that most of the sanctuary cities do have minority mayors, so it all kind of comes together. I don't know why that's the case. Dallas is a sanctuary city. I don't know if Houston is. Do you know if Houston no, is? No, but to sum it up, I think that uh, primarily we are opening our borders, and it's a security risk. Yes. It has nothing to do with, uh, I want people to be able to come in this country, but they have to come in legally, and we have to protect what we have, and we're not when we open the borders. Right, exactly. And there, there's absolutely no um, excuse for it. I was watching a congressional hearing today, the ex-ICE director, and I do not know his name. He was talking, there was, a, there was a Democrat who was the head of the committee that he was speaking in front of. And basically, he was just like saying, you work for me. Like, we don't work for our government. We put them in. They don't ask us anything, because if they did, most of what we've seen going on the last couple of years would not be happening. So that's the thing. I want everybody to remember. Terry, I want you to remember this too. Okay. <laughs> they work for us. No matter if it's at the national level, the state level, the city level, the city council level, the county level, they work for us. We, well, we have to keep in. reminding them. Yeah. Right, and we shouldn't have to. Yeah. And there also should be term limits. Because any time that you've been in a position like that for 50 years, you're probably not effective anymore, and the lobbyists are giving you a lot of money. So that's one thing I think that we talked about, and I don't remember if this is one of the shows that we did or <laughs> it got lost. Yeah. <laughs> I think it was when I had this dress on. Good <laughs> so if, if you if you want to know who the lobbyist is for a certain politician, see look at their campaign fund and see who put money into their campaign fund and see what they're promoting and then see what bills that politician is trying to push through. And that's how you do it. It is. I think we're running out <laughs> Can you say anything? Because I talk a lot. No, you're doing good. I'm, <laughs> I'll back you up. All right. I am, um, I'm happy to see you again. It's been yeah. wonderful. And I'm Rita. Terry Murphy. We are ECP TV. Thanks for watching. Bye.